Hi guys, it's the Tipler3848 and the BPL to z it's coming to an end soon, I promise. And then on my gameplay channel, you'll see nothing but gameplay. But we are doing the Mackums today, the Black Cat Sunderland uh, is another name that they occasionally go by, or Sunderland AFC. And the I'm, I'm kind of interested to see how this goes. Uh, <laughs> slight issues with the FIFA 15 engine, sadly. Uh, maybe I could have used a foothead kind of squad builder, but I'm sticking with the same thing that I've been doing all the way, so I'm just going to paint you something with my imagination brush. First of all, we've got Pantilamon, and I love him because his name sounds like a Digimon. Pantilimon, Pantilimonsters, Pantilimon is not the champion, but he's a really good goalkeeper off the back of that as well. He's six foot eight. Could you imagine being a striker running towards that? And the goal must look tiny. But your back four, we've got Van Arnholt, who's a really good signing you made. Uh, he's ridiculously good on FIFA as well, I will admit that. Pacey as hell, really good left back. He's really come into his own. You've bought Yunus Kabul, or got him on a free transfer. That could kind of backfire, maybe, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, Virginie next to him, uh, he did alright last season. And Matthews, your new signing as well from Celtic. I try and put as many new signings in, but I think he might actually be your starter as well for next season. You've got Sebastian Larson on the right-hand side here. He's a, a decent player still. He's 29 years of age now, so he's coming to the twilight of his midfield career. But obviously, he's worth having on the pitch just for his free kicks. Sad that he didn't make it at Arsenal. I don't think he's Arsenal kind of level, but he you've definitely got the best out of him. So kudos to you guys for that one. I've put Jack Rodwell and Lee Catamull in your two central defensive midfield positions. Rodwell, he seemed to really enjoy playing football, why wouldn't you after being sat on a bench for years? He's still only 23 so he's got time to grow. Hopefully he can recapture some of the form that he showed at Everton before making that ridiculous decision to go to Man City. But then again, he's now sitting on a pile of cash, 23 year old sitting on a pile of cash and he can now play football as well. So, you know, maybe it wasn't such a bad idea. But you've got Lee Catamull here. Uh, he is obviously your captain. You absolutely adore him. He just needs to be careful because he's going to get red cards all day long. But as well as these two, maybe instead of Rodwell, I would put in your new signing, Jan and Via, who I couldn't find on FIFA. He's supposed to be at Inter Milan on loan for last season. He wasn't there, and he wasn't in Ruben Kazan either. So God knows where he's disappeared off to. But I would probably put Jan and Veer in for Rodwell. But that's just my, you know, whole thing. Uh, we've also got Adam Johnson on your left-hand side. Again, you're going to have to use your imagination a little bit and put Lons in there instead, because I believe you've just signed him. He's going to be a good signing. Also couldn't find him on FIFA, but just use your little imagination brush and pretend he's there. And pretend that Adam Johnson face is, is, is slightly darker and more Dutch. That's kind of what I'm after. And your front two, Stephen Fletcher and Defoe, they're both kind of samey. Really surprised that you sold Connor Wickham uh, to Crystal Palace. I think Connor Wickham's a decent player. But Fletcher and Defoe are also good options. So, you know, you can't exactly bitch about that too much. Fletcher's going to get you goals. He's getting on a bit now. Ooh, 27. I thought he was much older. Uh, but Defoe is getting on a bit. 31. But it's hard to find a more natural finisher than Jermaine Defoe in the game at the minute. Then you have got your substitutes, of course. You've got Vito Manone, or Manone, as he actually likes to be called. And he is a really good player. Probably not quite as good as Pantelamon at this point in time, and that's why I've put him in above him. Then you've got John O'Shea. Basically, Man United just like to send out centre-backs every now and again so they can score own goals. Sadly, you got both of them. you got O'Shea and Wes Brown, who both have scored own goals for Manchester United against Sunderland. So, you know, I'm not saying that match-fixing is happening there, but just just consider it. And then you got Gomez, you got Bridcut, who's probably not going to get in the team at all when Jan and Villa, uh, does start up. And then, finally, you've just got Jacarini. Uh, Alvarez, who was at Inter Milan, before he went to Inter Milan, everyone thought he was pretty damn good. So um, I'm a bit confused how he's ended up at you guys, but hey, fair play, dear. You, 
he might be alright. I think you had him on loan at the back end of last season. I don't remember seeing much of him, though. And you've got Danny Graham as well on the bench. So, you've got a decent squad. You probably need to make some additions. But first of all, I'm going to go on to your upgrades. And here they are. I have got Mr. Van Arnholt, first of all, because, like I say, he's just had a good season. He's done really well since getting to you guys. He's 73 rated, is what I've put him up to. He was 71 rated, so 33 appearances, even a goal and 5 assists, not bad from a fullback at all. Next, I've given your new signing, Jerome, Jeremy Lenz, I can't say his name, up to a 79. Uh, 37 appearances, 9 goals and 12 assists for his previous club, so that's not bad at all. That is not a bad return. He's pacey, he can beat a player, and he's just an all-round decent winger. So, obviously you guys have got a really good player there, and I can see him being in your starting 11 straight away. On to your downgrades. Now, I've got Yunus Kabul here. I'm going to pop him down to a 75. Mainly just because he's not played all that many games. He kind of faltered at Tottenham last season, got a couple of injuries, but when he did come on, he didn't perform particularly well. 15 appearances, 26 goals conceded, and two yellow cards as well. Jermaine Defoe, I know there's a bit of a Tottenham, ex-Tottenham theme going on here, but again, he's, he's just not hit the heights since coming back from Toronto. I don't know why he went to Toronto in the first place, to be honest. But he didn't even like it when he got out there, so it's kind of his own fault. He's had his medicine, he's back in the Premier League where he wants to be, and let's see how he gets on. But for you, last time out, it was 19 appearances, 4 goals, and an assist, which I'm sure even Jermaine Defoe is kind of annoyed about and not happy with. Although I believe he did score an absolute wonder goal against Newcastle, so you guys might actually like him. On to your transfers. I think your squad needs a bit of padding out, but these are the main names I've seen linked. You've got Adnan Yanazai from Man United. I'm not sure I see that one happening. Maybe a loan deal there, maybe. But uh, he was the hottest property of like two years ago where everyone went mental over him and then he just sort of disappeared off into the distance and nobody cares about him now. Apart from you guys. Uh, Leroy Fur, who's currently at QPR, who has just failed a medical. So do you really want to get yourself involved in that? I'm not entirely sure. And the final transfer that's been going around is Cal Hanoglu. Gotta be really careful <laughs> when I'm saying that. But uh, he's obviously Turkish and he's doing really, really well at the moment. I believe he's a striker or an attacking mid. So he maybe isn't what you need. I think you should be going more for kind of defenders possibly, but you've bought quite a few defenders in. Maybe a new striker. Hey, I hear that Charlie Austin is still available, as I've said in every video of this bloody thing. But that's going to be me done for Sunderland. Howey the Mackums, go on lads. Uh, I don't know if Howey is actually your thing, that's definitely a Newcastle thing, so if I have offended any of you, I really apologise. So I'm sorry for that. But I think you've got a decent squad, you just need to add a few things, but that's going to be me done. Five nights at Freddy's video, 500 subs, come watch it, come like it, come comment on it. Do you want a free snowball? Who the hell doesn't want a free snowball is what I'm wondering now. But come and get your friends to sub as well. Somebody will be getting a blue snowball. I'm going to think of a way of, obviously, if lots of people want it, of working it out. Probably names in a hat or something, something fair. But go watch it, come like the video, comment, sub to me. Let's get up to 500 as soon as possible and let's get it done, son. But that is me, the Tipler3848, and I am out for now.